Good afternoon, this is Ray with OP Noobs, PC Gaming by PC Gamers. I'm here with Ahmet Arman, CEO of Tail Worlds Entertainment. Thank you, Ahmet. Uh, great to uh, have you here, thank you. We're very gracious for your time. I just uh, met your team, uh, wonderful host, Mount and Blade 2, Bannerlord, multiplayer fighting, arena, swords, a lot of fun. Uh, I was just stabbing people, I was kicking people over earlier. The archers were very annoying. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the game. Tell us about the development process. How long has it been in development? It has been quite a lot. I think we announced development, I think, in 2012. Uh, and actually, we even started development a little bit before that. So it has been quite a while, so something like six, almost seven years. That's a very long time frame. It is, yeah. It is. Of course, Tail Worlds had great success in the scene, in the franchise of uh, battlers, multiplayers. Uh, how do you continue to own that scene uh, in an international market with a lot of players, a lot of developers who are also trying to enter into that scene as well? Um, I don't know, I'm, our strategy is like keeping it kind of a little bit like simple and hopefully honest. Uh, so we try to, our strategy has always been try to, trying to make the games that we would like to play. So um, it has worked so far. So we are not really afraid to um, make games that are like a little bit uh, demanding and uh, maybe some challenging. It and takes a lot of effort to get the details right and you're doing, it's an amazing piece so far. I, yeah, th thank you, great to hear that. Yeah, we do a lot of we do a lot of research to make sure that uh, we are on top of all the all the historical facts and all, all the historical details. We read a lot, we research a lot, and we think a lot, and we we iterate, and we make sure that all all the gameplay elements are really working as we we think. And if if something is not working quite as right as we want, we just we are not afraid to just tear it out, uh, uh, tear it up, and start from. Uh, fresh and make something new. So that's basically, it takes a while to make good games in that regard, but it, I think it pays off. I was going to say, it sounds like with the very long development time frame, you've torn out a lot, I guess. <laughs> we had to, unfortunately, because we are also learning in this process. So we... When you say we, how big is the team? Uh, well, we are almost uh, like 70 people at the moment. 70? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to uh, make the game, but we have a wonderful team uh, with very, uh, a lot of talented people and we are lucky in that regard and we have a wonderful community also who contributes with great suggestions and uh, support. So that also um, we, all, we try to use that as much as possible to make the best game that we can. And I just played a couple of uh, skirmish melee battles. I imagine there is a probably a very in-depth single-player campaign mode as well yeah yeah def definitely what the, the 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 battles we try to make them as immersive as possible but I think coupled with the campaign that is really what what, what makes it so so exciting because when, when you go to the campaign uh, we have this sandbox campaign game gameplay where the, the players mostly very free and um, uh, with a lot of different uh, the de details that um, he has to work with. So, for example, there there is no scripted storyline. There is no thing. There is nothing that for uh, we as developers have decided that you should play. More, um, it's more like the player uh, makes his or her uh, own storyline uh, as they go along. So, almost like a sandbox. It's yeah, almost like a sandbox. And the the game has a very deep AI, and the AI also. Uh, response to what the player is doing. They're very tricky. They, they, they tried to juke me out a couple times. Yeah, so and all, all of this comes, comes together to make you really uh, be, become immersed in the game world and play that everything uh, you do in the world matters and you come across a lot of like NPC game characters and you, you can start to love them or hate them and wow. have different relations with them. Wow. And when you go to the battle uh, against okay. them and I don't know are able to take them out or you know see them being killed or see a friend you know uh, needing your help and whatever so that really makes you really uh, want to go into the game and be there and uh, feel something in the game world so it I think um, 
uh, what what we want to do is that have, having the player really like care about all this and feel about all this and have have this uh, extra bit about um, fe feeling in the, in this game world. I think that the passion and the commitment of your team is very evident from the balance, the AI, the details, the sound. It's a beautiful game. I think this is going to be a continued success with Mountain Blade. I would love to follow up uh, with some uh, post-beta later. Um, perhaps we can meet at another time. Amet, you've been so gracious. Delighted. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. for. And that's really music to my ears. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. <laughs>